we're in now approaching anywhere between the 80th and the 90th day of the first deaths of the coronavirus, a instrument, a weapon used by Almighty God. His name is Jesus as a part of his masses killing machine associated with the prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ and the words that came out of his mouth regarding the tribulation as a time when he'll bring an end to all creation and humanity. And the only persons left alive will be those of the elect. No flesh would be saved. And right now, the coronavirus uh, has killed globally over 315,000 people. That number is a great is greatly undercounted, but that's what Johns Hopkins University is stating. And right here in America, in a few hours, we would have reached, today is the 18th of May, and it's 1035 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. But by the evening of today, the 18th of May, we most probably will have reached 90,000 people that have been killed by the coronavirus, according to the Johns Hopkins uh, uh, data in base information, but I can tell you for absolute stomp down sure that that number is lower uh, than its actuality reporting. And I want to tell you where the coronavirus is coming from, uh, that it is an American generated uh, laboratory created uh, disease that was created right here in Harlem, New York City at a germ warfare center that was built with several billion dollars uh, by Columbia University uh, several years ago. And that is where this virus was cooked. It was not cooked in a laboratory in Wuhan. Now, I know it appears that all fingers point to China that it comes out of China out of some sort of a wet market or that it was uh, escaped somehow or another like a prisoner escaping Alcatraz from a laboratory in Wuhan, but that's all a lie. The building you see on your screen right now is a billion dollar building that is owned by Columbia University as an extension of Columbia University's sprawling growth right here in Harlem. As I sit and as the crow flies, this building built by Columbia University several years ago is only seven blocks from where I presently sit at present. It's on 125th Street and Broadway where David Dinkins and Al Shopton and a group of others from the community board number 10 were able to convince the community board to outlaw and to destroy the mom and pop stores that were along the Broadway strip and along the 125th Street, which was a very, very powerful, if you will, a real estate for, for, for them and their businesses. They bought them out and they have now erected this building. Uh, most likely as many as 10 to 20 stories beneath the surface of 125th Street is the germ laboratory in which the coronavirus was developed in this building right here. And I said, I told the people who've been around for a while, and I'll pull up the footage as we go on and look at this further. Um, I said when they first put that building there that it was built for the purpose of developing germ warfare that in, 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 uh, in a relationship with the Pentagon and with the CIA and the Center for Disease Control, they built that building and they gave Columbia University and they put it in Harlem. Now the reason why they put it in Harlem was because in the event that, well number one, Harlem, whether you know it or not, is a solid rock. The island of Harlem is a solid granite rock. It is more stable. You don't need pylons or any sort of major kind of support system if you build a building in Harlem. Uh, it is rock solid. So when you build something on, in, on a building, in, it's on a rock. It's on a solid rock. And so their concern was one of the reasons for choosing Harlem and uh, Columbia University as this, uh, if you will, surrogate was that they could build it on a rock 
And in the event there was an earthquake, because in those laboratories, we're talking 10, 20 stories beneath the surface of 125th Street, 20 stories down in those vaults down there, they've got all kinds of, of, of if you will, viruses. They've got all kinds of germ warfare. They've got all kinds of testing. They've got all kinds of laboratory things going on down there. They've got all kinds of animals running around down there. They've got all kinds of sick people that they run in and out of there from Columbia Presbyterian Hospital into Columbia University. All that goes on seven to 10 stories. Sometimes maybe I'm the, it could be as many as 20 stories deep. I watched them build it. I walked by while they were building it. 20 stories deep down beneath the surface of Harlem on 125th Street. And they built it because if there was an earthquake, the reason why Harlem was chosen and not Nevada, because if there's an earthquake, that if all those, those germs, those viruses, and all those vials that they have concocted in their scientific Frankenstein madness ever broke and got loose, it would be worse than the worst 100 atomic explosions on planet Earth. There's more power right now in Harlem in the germ warfare than 100 100 megaton neutral bomb, neutron bombs dropped at one time, dispersing over planet Earth. Because if those vials in that germ warfare there on 125th Street ever got loose, it would disperse to all the world. There'd be nobody left. There'd be nobody left. Now, but the other question was this. The other item would be this. Then if that's, if that's the issue... Uh, you may say, Pastor Matt, didn't you say some time ago that God Almighty is the one that is behind? Yeah, I did. No, I did. No, I said that. No, he is. No, he is the one. It's his killing machine. But Columbia University is the instrument. So now I, I want to tell you this. You may not realize this, but today is a special anniversary. Yes, it is. Today is the 10th anniversary of the CIA, Columbia, Obama, Sedition, and Treason trial. We'll say, why is that important? Well, actually, it's since May the 14th, or was that May the 18th, 19th? We marched around Columbia University. I, I brought my case against Columbia University because you remember our thesis was that Columbia University had been used by the CIA to issue to Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, a certificate in political science of which he never attended the University of Columbia University. He never set foot on the campus because he was working in Afghanistan as an operative uh, working with the Mujahideen before they became the Taliban. Obama, who had a Muslim cadence, who learned to speak the language of the Mujahideen, was sent by the CIA, he was taken out of that little old school out there in California and trained in the CIA and then sent and spent four years working with the Mujahideen when America first moved into uh, military auspices there in Afghanistan. And then the Mujahideen then took the presidency and the government leadership of Afghanistan under the leadership and training of Obama after they had defeated the Russians years earlier. And then after Obama was successful at establishing the Mujahideen to take over the government of Afghanistan, and then they later became the ta Taliban, he came back and they took him into Harvard University, not Columbia this time. They took him to Harvard and gave him the president of the Harvard Review and then gave him a degree from Harvard, and then the CIA ran him as the president of the United States of America back in 2008 and gave him that presidency, took it away from, 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 uh, from Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, and gave it to Obama, who has served as an agent and an operative for the CIA to promote the, the, the Af Afghan war and the sales of, of, of military in instruments. And so I held a trial demonstrating all that right here 
uh, right here at the Outlaw World Missionary Church. I held a trial based on, uh, first I held a grand jury trial right here at the Outlaw World Missionary Church where we got 24 uh, New York citizens uh, to vote on a, a bill uh, that would be an indictment against Obama, against Columbia University, and once that bill, the grand jury indicted Obama, then we moved from that, that proceeding of a grand jury to a full-blown trial that I started 10 years ago on the 14th of May, and it ran to the 19th of May. And in the process of this trial, in the mornings, we would march around Columbia University. And we marched around Columbia University seven times in seven days. And on the seventh day, we marched seven times. This is our march around Columbia University uh, during the CIA Columbia Obama Sedition and Treason trial. It was, well, why is that important? And that was the final night right there. We're standing right there, our march. Now, we didn't get a lot of support. A number of people just don't want to go to, to the level. They don't believe God, but that's okay. We thank God for the people that did support. But this was seven days that we did this. Seven days that we marched. Seven days. And then on the seventh day, seven times we marched. And we did that 10 years ago. And today represents the 10th anniversary because that happened in 2010. But we pointed out after we had done such a noble job on behalf of, the, the, of heaven and of humanity. And we held a trial and we put Columbia University on trial for issuing a fraudulent degree. And Obama Pushing a fraudulent, fraudulent uh, receiving a, a mail fraud. We, co we convicted Columbia of mail fraud and Obama of lying to the American people. We went through the whole process, that book, Dreams of My Father, where Obama says the first night he came, first night he came to New York City, he slept in an alley on 109th Street uh, and Broadway. There are no alleys in, in New York City. We don't have alleys in Harlem. They, they don't, they have them in Washington, D.C., Baltimore. We don't have alleys. That was a lie. Moreover, when Columbia University gives you a scholarship to come and study in their program, they give you housing as well. They got some most beautiful student housing in place. You don't have to sleep in the alley when you come. That was a flat out lie. Anyway, we proved all of that in court. Now, why is that important? It's important because at this anniversary, and those of you who have stood with me over the last 10 years, a lot of people ran and left me. Those that stood with me know I stood for God, I stood for heaven, and I stood for humanity. And now I'm telling you that the coronavirus has been birthed in, in, the, uh, uh, in the Columbia University. And the other reason, they, the reason why so many people in New York are dying is because they're seeping out through some of the people that have had their contact there in, in, the, in that event. Listen, I've got to shut down everything right now. I'll get back, we'll have more of this. But my friends, the coronavirus birthplace is Columbia University right here in New York City on 125th Street and Broadway. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram, or Janine Pirro, or Anderson Cooper, or Rachel Maydow, or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly, sinful view. But the man in will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.